Anything that exists is possible, said Kenneth Boulding. No matter how odd, how unbelievable, how improbable, if it exists, it's possible. That's the importance of Bhutan. For people who care about the human relationship to the earth, Bhutan is among the most inspiring places in the world. It offers an alternative vision of the world and the human place in it, where the very landscape is sacred and development has more to do with the spirit than the stock market. That vision is rooted in Bhutan's history and culture. The story of Bhutan at its core is about an ancient culture's determination to infuse its deepest values into a sustainable and happy way of living in the modern world. It's about the creative application of new tools to analyze and resolve the multifaceted crisis, ecological, economic, political, <coughs> spiritual, of our time. And that's why this story is profoundly important to all of us. If Bhutan's educational innovations really worked, if a GNH-infused curriculum actually did have the desired impact on Bhutan's youth, what would the result be in five or ten years? I asked the Prime Minister, and here's what he said. Ten years from now, I would like to be able to see an education system that is truly educational, uh, that will be able to uh, uh, bring out and produce uh, you know, graduates uh, uh, who will know and understand, appreciate that uh, their needs as individuals are not really excessive. Uh, that it is not, it is that uh, to, that success in life uh, does not mean acquisition of wealth. That success in life is a state of being when one uh, can come home at the end of, of the day satisfied uh, with what one has done, being able to put your you know, head on your pillow and have a sound sleep and dream, perhaps, or wake up the next day realizing that uh, you are a happy individual, not only because you have found happiness for yourself, but because you have given happiness in the process, in, 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 the, in the process of this one day's work that you have done, uh, happiness to your spouse, to your children, to your family, to your neighbors, and to the world at large. Anything that exists is possible. Prime ministers like that do exist, so it's possible to have one. A development policy centered on respect for the environment does exist, so that's not impossible. There is a government that regards the intellectual, social, and spiritual development of its people, not the pillaging of the earth, as its primary objective. So that's possible too. I'm Silver Donald Cameron, host at thegreeninterview.com. Thanks for watching.